everybody, it's Lon Seidman, and we're checking out the Mego Pad T04 today. I picked this up for about $135 on Amazon. This is a low-cost PC, and what's significant about it is the fact that it's running with the new Atom chips called the Cherry Trail chips, and they're uh, calling them the X5 and the X7 processors. This one is an X5, so it's kind of on the lower end of the scale, uh, very reasonably priced. However, there's a bit of a gotcha with this, like there have been with other Mego Pad PCs, uh, and that is they say it comes with Windows 10 Professional installed, which it does. However, it is not an activated version of Windows 10, so it's essentially an unactivated illegal copy that they stick on here. And when I wrote to them to say, hey, you know, you really shouldn't market your product like this if it doesn't actually have an activated version of Windows, uh, their response was a Word document that details how to break the activation. So download this crack, I kid you not, download this crack file, install it, put in four different of these uh, three different uh, product keys and you'll be good to go and uh, off and running. However, that's illegal and it also uh, opens the door for security issues, especially if you're you know, putting on cracking software onto your PC. So I'm not going to recommend this as a buy right now uh, because of that. I think it's a really shady practice that they're uh, directing customers that way. What they should be doing is what other reputable companies do and that is uh, price it accordingly and uh, indicate that it doesn't have a version of Windows installed if they can't hit the price point. It's pretty simple. The Windows with Bing Edition is not all that expensive to, uh, for an OEM to add to a machine like this. The other issue I had is the power adapter. So this is it here. If you live in North America, as I do, you'll know that this will not work in your outlet uh, without an adapter. And uh, they didn't include an adapter in the box when I also wrote to them separately to say, hey, you know, you forgot the adapter. They told me just to go out and buy one. So they weren't very helpful there either. Uh, so I did pick this up. These are pretty cheap. You know, they're not very expensive. But now you've got this ugly looking power adapter here. Now it is using a standard USB connector. However, the voltage is not standard. So I tried a bunch of my own, you know, two amp USB uh, things that I would use with a tablet or other Atom uh, based computers like this one. None of those worked. The machine wouldn't boot up. It wasn't until I got the adapter for their power thing here that everything started working. So I suspect this might be putting off a little bit more amperage than what might be standard for USB. And I'm really concerned about the power adapter. It's not very high quality. Uh, the wire's already kind of loose on here. So this is really not going to hold up all that well. And I've really got to figure out uh, how much voltage this thing operates under. So uh, those warnings aside, uh, this does have the Cherry Trail chip. This is the X5 Z8300, 1.4 gigahertz. It'll burst up to 1.88. 2 gigabytes of RAM, 32 gigabytes of storage built in. On the back here, you've got some ports. You've got a headphone jack, HDMI out. It will support a 4K display. I was able to hook it up to my uh, big 4K TV in the other room earlier, and it worked great there. We also have two USB 3.0 ports and a uh, Ethernet jack, although uh, this is only 100 megabit Ethernet, which was surprising. So you're not going to get gigabit speed. So if you're connecting to a network attached storage device with the Ethernet, uh, it's going to be slower than we've seen on other uh, PCs with built in Ethernet these days. So that is a bit of a, a gotcha there. Uh, it does have Wi Fi built in as well as Bluetooth. The Wi Fi supports 2.4 and 5 gigahertz networks, but only up to wireless N. So now what we're going to do uh, is get this thing hooked up to our uh, really rickety power adapter here and take a look at its performance. All right, we're going to boot up our Mego pad here. I'm going to hold down the uh, capacitive button on the front to get everything up and running, and we'll see how long it takes to boot. Uh, so there we go. We got our BIOS screen popping up here. I am going to switch back to the uh, full screen version of it here because sometimes my monitor gets it a little bit later than my TriCaster does, which is what's running my uh, video system here. But as you can see, it boots up uh, fairly quickly, not too slow, and we're going to get right into our uh, illegal copy of Windows 10 here. All right, now that we are booted up, I'm going to uh, take a look maybe at the New York Times first, like we usually do. So we'll hit that uh, website up there. And as you can see, it does load up about the same speed that we've seen other uh, Atom-based chips uh, load things up at. My understanding from uh, what I've been reading is that the Intel Cherry Trail tri chips actually improve graphic performance more than they might uh, processing performance. But as you can see here, it is you know doing fairly well uh, browsing the web here at 1080. Uh, and it, it just takes a second or two for all the ads and everything else to kind of load in. So that's usually where you see the choke points is all the other stuff that gets loaded in here. But it scrolls nicely. Uh, you know, the screen renders fairly quickly. And I think it'll be a passable uh, browsing experience. Again, similar to what we've seen on other PCs that cost less than $200. We'll go uh, visit, the, maybe go to YouTube next and check out my uh, YouTube channel. So we'll see how we look on there and uh, do a couple of uh, videos and we'll pop over there. You can see how fast things load up. I am going off the ethernet right now just to get the best possible connection uh, we can shoot for. So we're going into my channel here. We'll have my channel video play. I'll go full screen with that. 
and you can see how fast that comes up. So uh, it seems to be, you know, as a multimedia device, I found the video playback to be uh, functional on here. I think it will work better with um, the 1080 content than the 4K content. I did try uh, playing back some video on uh, my system earlier on my 4K TV, and it's, it worked fine. It actually was able to play back that 4K content, but it was dropping frames here or there, and the whole overall browsing experience when we were at uh, four times the resolution we're at right now seems to uh, taper off a little bit. And on the Octane test, which is a measurement of how well it performs with Google's Chrome browser, uh, we got a score of 7,325, which puts it just a little bit ahead of uh, what we saw on the prior generation chips. So we see about 6,500 or so on the old Atom chip. The new one uh, is getting around 7,325. So now let's pop back to our desktop here and take a look at its Microsoft Word performance. We'll load up that newsletter template we look at uh, every time we look at one of these uh, little mini PCs. And here we go. We've got it up on the screen here. And you can see the rendering time is about what we saw on some of those other devices. So uh, very similar in uh, how it feels, at least uh, from that standpoint. Maybe on a benchmark somewhere, we might see a little bit better performance, but for the most part, it feels like it's uh, functioning about the same. We'll go in and uh, adjust some of the images here and just see how the text flows around that. So, you know, for getting work done and whatnot, this should uh, actually perform pretty well at those tasks. All right, let's move on to some gaming, and we'll take a look at Minecraft now. It doesn't really perform all that much better than the Bay Trail processors. In fact, I think it's actually performing a little bit worse. Uh, we're getting around 20 frames per second or so. Uh, sometimes it's dipping into the teens here also, so not the best Minecraft performance, and that is uh, with running the uh, Optifine plugin on here. So uh, it's hard to say if it's the chip's fault or if perhaps there's some driver issues that haven't been resolved yet or what, but uh, right now it's not the best Minecraft experience, as you can see. We certainly saw better performance out of uh, all of those Bay Trail stick PCs that we were playing with earlier. Now don't forget, too, that these chips aren't all that much faster on the processing side, uh, but the graphics is really where things uh, tend to see an improvement, and I'm going to start running a new test, uh, this one from 3D Mark called the CloudGate test. Now, this is really designed for higher end PCs, but I think it's kind of neat to tax things to their limits, especially at the low end, and see how they score. So, I ran this uh, this weekend on an Atom Bay Trail PC stick. I think this was the uh, one we got from Quantum Suppliers. It performs the same as uh, the newer version of the Mego Pad stick as well as the Intel Compute stick. Uh, so, we got a score of 1,069 on that, or about uh, 5.3 frames per second on the graphics. Uh, portion of that test, and uh, the MigoPad T04 uh, actually scored 50% better on that, at least from a frames per second standpoint, so uh, it is improving on the graphics. So I think on the lower end games, if you go into Counter-Strike and whatnot that are maybe less dependent on Java like uh, Minecraft is here, I think you might see a little bit of a performance boost, uh, maybe not always 50%, but anything that's very graphically intensive versus CPU intensive, there will be a little bit of a smoother frame rate here, so the graphics are definitely improving, as I saw with the 4 4K television, I was able to play back media on that TV quite well. So I think there's definitely uh, an improvement here on the graphics side with this new uh, Cherry Trail architecture. Now let's take a look at Kodi and see how some things work on that. All right, we've got Kodi loaded up here. I'm going to just do a quick uh, playback of a Blu-ray MKV file. So maybe we'll pick up uh, some Independence Day here. Uh, this is playing off of my NAS device in the basement, but this is a full uncompressed a Blu-ray movie in MKV format. Unfortunately, I had to switch back to the Wi-Fi because the Ethernet on here crapped out and I can't seem to get it to work again. So another uh, strike against uh, our Amigo pad. But as you can see here, the movie seems to be spinning up just fine. A little bit slower than, than usual because we're on Wi-Fi. But as you can see here, we're able to fast forward to different portions of the movie. It takes a second for it to spin up again, I think because of the uh, issue with uh, having to connect via Wi-Fi. But uh, it has been playing back as I was getting everything set up here. Uh, fairly well as we've been going here. So I think uh, from the Blu-ray standpoint, it should work fine. Uh, one thing that didn't work as well, though, is the HD Home Run, which is my cable uh, interface here in the house. I've got a whole series on it, which I'll link to, uh, to above so you can check it out. Um, but I, I feel like the issues that we're going to see here in a second are due to the Wi-Fi and not to its performance. So as we're loading up the add-on here, you can see it uh, springing to life, and now we'll connect to our uh, access point downstairs, and uh, it's looking okay right now. It does get a little bit laggy, though, when there's a lot of motion on screen, and that's usually a bandwidth issue more than anything else, at least in my experience. So I think, uh, as you can see, it's a little bit jumpy here. So uh, again, I don't think it's the hardware here. I think it's the fact that the network connection isn't working because the Wi-Fi does, or the uh, Ethernet doesn't seem to be functioning properly. So uh, that's what we're going to end up with on the Kodi side. But I think it's performing as well as we've seen on other Atom-based devices that uh, cost the same running the prior generation of the chipset.
So that is the Mego Pad T04, and I would recommend not buying this product right now or at all. Uh, first of all, the business practices that they have, at least as far as the Windows operating system are concerned, are deplorable. Uh, it's bad enough putting on an unlicensed copy, but then to send along instructions as to how to crack it and asking you to download uh, you know, really questionable software to do that, I think is very, very poor practice. But there's other problems with it also. As you saw, the video performance isn't quite there yet. It could be a driver issue. This is a very new chipset, at least in this segment of the marketplace. This uh, chipset is appearing on some uh, name brand PCs, but they have the resources to actually get the drivers working earlier. Uh, right now, we're not seeing that on here. So display performance on Minecraft was pretty poor. Uh, the ethernet doesn't seem to be working very well. And I forgot to mention that there is an SD card slot on the side here a micro SD card slot, uh, which doesn't work either. So a lot of things is not right with this thing and you'll be very unhappy spending $135 on a PC that is going to end up costing you more, both in aggravation uh, and of course having to pick up a Windows license to get it to work. So uh, avoid this one, but I think we're seeing some promising things in some of the testing that I was doing that uh, might lead uh, to some pretty good experiences with uh, future Cherry Trail devices from other manufacturers. This is Lon Seidman, thanks for watching.